In this lesson, we will discuss the two sensors of the SU-27, the N001 pulse Doppler radar and the OLS-27 infrared search and track system, or ERST. Let's first talk about the radar. The N001 is a look-down, shoot-down radar that can detect and track up to 24 fighter-sized targets 10 to 100 kilometers in the front hemisphere and 30 to 40 kilometers in the rear hemisphere. Let's first enable the Beyond Visual Range Master Mode by pressing 2. Next, we'll turn on the radar by pressing the I key. We now have some new symbology on the HUD in the Heads Down Display, or HDD. To change the range scale, press equal to decrease range and press minus to increase range. You can see the range scale at the top of the vertical bar on the left side of the HUD. This can range from 5 to 500 kilometers. This is also reflected on the HDD. The arc on the HDD indicates the radar's detection range. In the bottom left corner of the HUD, SCN and BVR is displayed to indicate that you're in beyond visual range scan mode. I've added a friendly aircraft heading towards you to practice adjusting the range scale and seeing the changes on the HUD and HDD. A friendly aircraft is indicated as a double row of dashed lines on the HUD. A large aircraft has four dashes per line, and smaller aircraft, like fighters, have two dashes per line. The further the contact is towards the bottom of the HUD, the closer it is to you. There is indication of the contact's altitude on the HUD symbol. When done, press the spacebar. Below the range scale indication on the HUD is the radar PRF setting. PRF stands for Pulse Repetition Frequency. It can either be high PRF or medium PRF. High PRF is best for high closure targets and medium PRF is best for medium or low closure targets. High PRF has the longest detection range but is most effective when you and the target are flying towards each other. In addition to high and medium PRF, you also have interleave that alternates high and medium PRF. Interleave mode is best used when the aspect of the target is unknown. You can cycle between the three PRF settings by pressing right shift and I. I've added two friendly aircraft, one coming towards you and one flying away. Practice adjusting your PRF and note how different PRF settings will detect different targets. Press spacebar to continue when you are ready. missions, you will not be lucky enough to have targets always flying at your same altitude. Use the antenna elevation control though, and you can steer the antenna to search above and below you. Press right shift and semicolon to raise the antenna, and press right shift and period to lower the antenna. While on the right side of the HUD is a vertical line with two horizontal marks near the center. These represent the antenna's centered elevation point. To the right of this is a small vertical bar and number that indicates the antenna elevation angle in degrees. I've added two aircraft coming towards you, one below you and one above. Adjust the antenna elevation to detect both aircraft. Once you have located both aircraft, press the spacebar to continue. Between the bottoms of the two vertical lines on the HUD is a horizontal line that indicates the azimuth steering of the radar antenna. It only has three possible settings, centered, right, and left. Move the antenna azimuth to the left by pressing right shift and comma, and move it to the right by pressing right shift and slash. The horizontal bar indicates the antenna's current azimuth setting. 
It is important to note that radar contacts displayed in the HUD and HDD are according to the center of the scan, not necessarily centered off the nose of the aircraft. Once you have steered the antenna to place at least one contact in the center of the HUD and HDD, press the spacebar. Though the antenna azimuth steering indication is the expected target range indication, this is the expected range to target that is often derived from AWACS and GCI data. You can adjust it by pressing right control equal to increase it and right control minus to decrease it. The elevation coverage of the radar scan pattern is calculated from this parameter. Those are the basics of using the radar in search mode. Now let's take a look at using the Earth in search mode. Press O to enable the Earth. The Earth is a passive system, so it will not alert other aircraft when you're tracking them. However, it tracks the thermal signature of the target, so it can detect targets easier if they're flying away from you because the sensor can clearly detect the hot engines of the target. The target and afterburner will also be easier for the Earth to detect. I've activated a couple of targets of head view at the same range. Note that you can only detect one of them because one is flying towards you and the other away. Also note that the Earth cannot tell friend from foe. As such, all contacts appear as hostile. Press the spacebar to continue. This concludes this lesson on the Beyond Visual Range scan mode.